Shifting gears now, plans for Super Bowl 2025 starting to take shape, even though we're still in preseason and, you know, six months out there from that. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to see the Saints playing in February? Anyway, uh, while most eyes will be on uh, the field, others are focused on the lasting impacts the Super Bowl will have after the game ends. Liam McNeil is joining us with more on how the NFL and a number of local organizations are making things happen here. Yeah, Eric, I mean, we've already seen the partnerships with the NFL, with local businesses and local artists, but now they're making sure the nonprofits across our area are able to see a little bit of that benefit from the Super Bowl coming here to the city of New Orleans for the 11th time. The Saints Energy, the Super Bowl Host Committee, and a, quite a few other local organizations have all partnered up to give away a $3 million worth of grants to area nonprofits all across our area. That's all 10 parishes uh, right here in the greater New Orleans area. Now, as we all know, securing funding for nonprofits statistically has been a challenge for a number of reasons, including those organizations not being able to find the appropriate funding or let alone if those fundings are uh, that those funds are actually available. Now, uh, the folks with the Super Bowl host committee say that they wanted to ensure that people in our city see the long gains and the benefits from the Super Bowl being here much after the game actually ends. There's a lot of nonprofits in our area. And, uh, you know, we want to we want to be able to serve as many as we possibly can. The grants will range from twenty five thousand dollars each to two hundred and fifty thousand. So this is a pretty nice chunk of change for those area nonprofits. Now, there are a few other requirements on your screen right now. Some more of them uh, include the specific nonprofits that can apply. Uh, those are strictly ones that focus on youth development, workforce training, education, health and wellness, and equity and inclusion. Also another point here, all those applications do need to be filed online. And you have to be operating by July of 2022. So established nonprofits are able to apply, but we do have more information on the specifics of this application process over on the links tab on WWLTV.com. The deadline to apply is at the end of day tomorrow. Reporting live in the French Quarter, Leah McNeil, WWL, Louisiana.